All right, what up, guys? Um, Sarah Safari here. Sadly, I had to kill off Brad. He wasn't having my back enough. He wasn't giving me what I needed anymore. So he already built my career, so I might as well. Classic woman behavior. <laughs> he already built my career, wow. so I'm just going to handle it from here. Um, Sarah Safari here, Bradley Martin. What's good? We're back at it with another podcast. This was an emergency podcast this because was. Bradley has better things to do this week. Yeah. By the time you guys see this, he'll be in Japan Probably with a Japanese man. Um, there will be Japanese men in Japan for sure. Yeah, I have two phones. Will by you the way. be in the? Will I be inside a Japanese man? What the? <laughs> f are you talking about? my sentence. You I, were well, already I, thinking I already about know the it. Sh joke that you have to come with. Man. Okay. Wow, it's kind of sad. What's sad? Just damn, I haven't seen you in a while. I know. High five. Good to see you. Nice to see uh, you. How's how's been everything? What's what happened since the pod? Like since our last pod? Yeah. Um, something huge, huge, massive. Big okay, what the fuck, dude? All right, has happened. Where are you going with that? What massive, okay. big, okay. huge? Okay, huge. Um, okay. I finished my MBA. I'm, I have a graduate degree now. Thank you. Yeah, I was actually, I was really upset you did not text me. Congratulations. You know, do you know why I didn't? Why? Because I was waiting to tell you on this podcast. No, you weren't. I swear, because I was sitting down the streaming, and someone was mentioning it to me, and I was literally starting to text you. And I was like, nah, I want to tell her in person. Really? Yeah, I'm proud of you. You did so, you did something I would never have done. <laughs> Thank you. You would have never finished. Did school. you get me a gift? I did. Where is it? It's in the car. What is it? It's uh it's in the car. It's a surprise. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a what is it? Huh? It's a what? What? Did Jacob have a mic? You got a in your mouth? Whoa, dude. What, what is it? What is happening? What did you get what, me? You hang around Sneeko too much. What the? Yeah, what the I get it's a, it's a, um, you know those the uh, the things that you press the button and we, you, uh, it like oh, yeah, yeah, it moves. Yeah, yeah. It's Yet a, again, it makes noise. Another big accomplishment in my life with nothing. No, we get to celebrate here. Look, <clears throat> we get to celebrate here. I'm honestly really proud. You're of you. gonna be celebrating in Japan while I'm just here. Yeah, but but we're doing power slap the next week. Yeah, yeah. Japan is for fun. the boys. It's a boys trip. It's a boys trip. Yeah, I think so. I know me and Steve are going, and then Sneeko somehow inserted himself. Um, just kidding. He, he was like, yo, you guys going? We're like, yeah, we're going. <laughs> um, and then I don't know if Neon's going, though. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I think that's too far. I feel like he, I don't know if he, can he travel that far? Neon? Does he have a yeah, passport? Yeah, he's a big, he's a big boy. I mean, he's, well, a, he's a, he's a grown, he's an grown. adult. He's an adult. He's over 18. Yeah. How about a big boy? <laughs> um, big what, boy. what have you been doing since like you just stream and just, just don't do anything I, anymore or what? No, I've, I've been making money moves in my head, planning out my next, my next steps. Yeah, like Trying since to, you don't I've have been, school, what do you plan to do? I've been on LinkedIn looking for a regular job. I made a LinkedIn account looking for a regular job. Bullshit. So if I go on LinkedIn right now, I'm going to see an account? Yep. For what, dude? For Sarah Safari. What Hire jobs? Me. What jobs are you going to get? Hire me. I'm tired of working for Brad. I'm what? tired. That's, that's insane. Can you please hire me? What okay. jobs do you... Like, are you serious? Yeah, I want to... I want to... I want to be... You know, use my brain rather than use my body on you don't Instagram. Think it, you don't think it takes a lot of brain to figure out this whole social media? Issue? No, it does. Yeah, it's time. What are you doing? Why do you have? Oh, two it's just phones? Some, this is my new phone. You brought it in here just to flex it. Kind of. Well, to, what is that? A trap phone? No, it's for TTS. Oh, is that phone for the? And the other no, one's for no, the no, it's for the TTS. The number actually doesn't even work. It's just it's just like a hotspot almost. Oh. And also, so we could stream from it if we can't stream from. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, this is the okay, good. Okay, Fousey. Yeah, exactly. I learned from the best. You know. Yeah. You would understand, though. Rest in peace. Why rest in peace? You didn't hear? Hear what? Are you trying to... Are you trying to... Troll me that Fousey died? That's no, insane. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. But Drake did. It is. Turn on the AC. You That's have all this money and you won't even well, like. He was in here. I'm I thought sweating. He turned it in. AC, please turn Dude, it on. Dude, honestly, that no, was, but... that's a crazy joke to make that someone's died. <laughs> no, but it's that's funny. a very internet Sometimes joke. It's really funny that like you're in conversation. It's like you didn't hear. Like rest in peace. And they're it like, like oh, a TikTok what? Trend. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Death isn't funny. I don't know why. I'm yeah, like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Dude, hmm. you okay lately? Mental illness. Are you are you good? <laughs> no, I think I have problems. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> I, I feel like I think, you think the internet's made you better or worse. Internet has made me. It's a really interesting question. Oh, the internet has made me more okay with people. I think I now I'm just like, oh, everyone's that's fine. Or whenever it, this is what's crazy. If I meet a guy 
or a girl or whatever and they're so nice or like they're doing the bare minimum they're not even so nice they do the bare minimum but i think it's like they're going the extra mile because everyone in this industry does like so below the bare minimum that when someone does the bare minimum i'm like i'm in love with you what's what's the bare minimum being a decent human being yeah. nice like giving good advice or whatever being selfless being selfless is the bare minimum yeah thinking of others oh golden rule yeah treat those as you like to be treated yeah and you think it's hard to find that just because the internet yeah like, you know, because, the internet's like because that? doing this kind of stuff it's all a competition it's like people don't tell other people things or they steer them in the wrong direction because it's all competition or it's like people like to gatekeep or whatever. Yeah. I guess I can, de I definitely understand that for sure. Yeah. Unlike for me, damn sure. I'm over here doing favors for everyone. And then do you, do you don't, but who's gatekeeping stuff for you? No one's gatekeeping stuff for you. No, no, not one. at this point. No, no, I guess you're right. I guess but I'm no, it is definitely an interesting industry. Sorry, I have to put my glasses on. I'm like, I'm like, it's too bright in here. Yeah, you're different now? I'm hungover. You're hungover. You started drinking now. Well, I had three energy drinks yesterday, so I'm So feeling. you're hungover from energy drinks? Yeah, from caffeine. Wow. I don't even know where to go from here except where I was trying to go prior to this. Where were you trying to go prior to this? The massage spot. I was trying to get a massage. A rub and tug? No, absolutely not. <laughs> you were going to get a rub and tug. No, I just really want a massage. Jacob, did you get a massage? Yeah. Jacob got a massage earlier. Was it, was it good? It? Solid. Wait, are you going to show them, like, your haircut? What haircut? I didn't get a haircut. I just got my beard cut. See, look. Oh, okay, okay. See? Hmm. Wow, you're going to troll? You're going to be like the internet and troll me for I'm my haircut? I'm not going to troll you. Your haircut looked gen... I liked your haircut. How dare you? I genuinely liked your haircut, and your barber was so nice. Wow. That's crazy. I wanted him to cut you... me up the way he cut you up. Yeah? Mm-hmm. A bald fade? You don't have a bald fade? <laughs> that is what it's called? It's, it's called, called a bald that's cool. Well, like it you're just sounds bald. like you're not it sounds bald. like a ball ball with that fade though. No, okay, your hair is nice. Your hair is nice. Is. Go f yourself. Um, that was nice. Yeah, thank you. But okay, listen. How have you been? Let oh. me let me ask a few questions. Oh wow, you sound like my therapist. Lately, the past week, I feel like you've been on off on off. Like even by like text messages, I can tell when oh, you're on off oh. on off. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. Like I feel like you've been happy for us. Can you stop fidgeting? Yeah. Sorry. Go That'd ahead. be great. Yeah. Let me put that over here. You okay. keep getting happy, sad. There's an influx of emotions. So please tell <clears throat> us a little bit. You don't have to go full detail. Well. Just like these girls on OF. You don't have to go full. Just full tease it a little bit. Just a little tease. Um, no, I think, I think I've just been a, in a state of like a lot of, just a lot of kind of like new projects and things happening where I'm trying, I'm trying to like balance like personal life and all these new things. How's personal life going? Good. Good for the most part. Always a challenge there. Yeah. Um, you know, something that I wish I, I think, worked on a lot sooner. I think you got to stop putting it all on you, though. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not always, like, your fault. Like, a lot of things are your fault. A lot, 100% yeah. business, relationships. Yeah, you probably, 90% your fault. But the other 10% you have to put on other people. Yeah. Like, just fuck. I don't know. You've, I've told you this. I've told you this. You've grown a lot as a person in the past year and a half. I do. I feel good. I feel really good. Like overall, personal life, everything's good. Um, I think it's more the balance for two. For me, is just balancing, like I said, the amount of new things that I'm trying to do or things that I'm trying to like continue in combination with older projects. Um, whereas like it's a lot to balance. And, and like, you know, like doing the podcast, this is a very seamless podcast for me because it's it's simple. Yeah. Right? We don't have to like, go and get a guest we don't have to go and travel like we i'm starting about talking about doing the podcast with steve and i know that it's like because he spends his time in a completely different place miami or vegas yeah. there's like that in between and balancing all the things and then nothing for raw talk is tough because the guests and i'm talking to you about this yeah. where i love this podcast and it's dynamic because like excuse me i had in and out earlier sorry what the without yeah. me i love in and out so good i honestly i was i was like i as i ordered i was like this is going to be so good knowing that like I'm going to eat this and then go and do a podcast with Sarah later and bring none of it for her. It was like joyful. What? The? what? You're sick and twisted. No, it's a Halloween. It's that month. It's like spooky season. So I was like thinking of like spooky things, you know? You, all, like you like, think of spooky things 12 months out of the year. Oh. 
pit. <laughs> so I was like, maybe, you know, but it was good. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah. I'm, I'll probably I saw get you on the way post home. on Twitter. It was like your la last, like, what was your thing? My last supper. It was like three, like a four, four by four? patties. Yeah, come on. Did you actually eat that? Every time. Four patties and um, four by four and an animal fry well. That's my order. Animal it's $11.74 well? every time. In and out, please sponsor me. In and out's not sponsoring you. They're not sponsoring anyone. They didn't even want me to sell those shirts back in the day when I sold those like raw gear in and out shirts. Oh, they were mad. They came about, for you. They came for me, dude. I'm about to do that just so they can get in contact with me, and then I'll be like, okay, I'll stop this if you do this. <laughs> no, they'll just be like, yeah, we'll just fuck you. Okay. Yeah, they're not. That might be. That might they be. got they got the lawyer. But lawyers. then I can say in and out. Heft me. Wow, that's that's a flex. I don't know if that is may, maybe it's maybe flex. in some in some states maybe. <laughs> Speaking of getting, what happened? Dylan Dan is Logan Paul. Oh yeah, I didn't watch the whole fight. It was way too expensive for my. For yeah, my apparently they sold one point four million, which is like seventy million revenue. One point four million. Pay per view buys. Oh, oh, okay. I was like at fifty four dollars, so it was like seventy something million dollars. That's insane. And we should do a class action lawsuit and get all of our money back because that was dog. Shit. I'm so upset. What did you expect? I don't know, dude. Listen, the amount of shit that that guy was talking for so long and talking about he's going to beat him up, he's going to knock, he's going to fuck. Because he wasn't just troll. He was trolling, obviously, a ton, right? Yeah. Mean and stuff. Trolling, trolling, trolling. But he was also talking like he's going to fuck him up and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And then he just went in there and, like, it just seemed like, I don't know, maybe very quickly he realized he wasn't cut out for it and was like, I'm just going to- Take the punches. Take punches and troll and not get knocked out. That's going to be my claim to be like, ha I didn't get knocked out. You yeah. said you're going to knock me out. But it's like- it doesn't make sense because if your whole argument before is like you're not a real fighter and all this other shit, and you're just like this fake ass YouTube whatever boxer, then like that guy, your goal shouldn't be to not get knocked out by that guy. Your mm -hmm. goal should not be to like if you were going against Floyd Mayweather, then you might be like, yo, I didn't get knocked out. I'm fucking yeah, dope. I'm him. You know, I'm yeah. him. But if you're talking all that shit about Logan being like this whatever YouTuber and then just not getting knocked out by him, yeah. it's fucking lame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's there's contradicting. No way to go. There's con exactly. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So, so. He just looked like a punching bag. That's what I said. I tweeted that. Like, literally, I thought, I was like, I also tweeted, I was like, I thought, did they just pay him to, like, not fight back? Like, there's, 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 like, one conspiracy in my mind of that. But then I'm like, that doesn't make sense. No. I know. I saw you tweet, um, Logan Paul is on drugs. And I, I, steroids. I, steroids. Yeah. And I meant, I quoted it. And I was like, takes one to no one, huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's why I love, I'm like, damn, this guy's progress is unnatural yeah yeah just because the amount of sp it's just the amount of time and you know it's really hard to like get bigger and leaner at yeah. the same time unless you take drum roll please yeah or just or just a certain mix of steroids but it's just yeah. kind of like that was drastic for sure yeah physique great genetics great physique I mean, great you know but yeah it is what it is. i just honestly i just throw that out there because it's kind of just funny i think it's yeah it was reaction. funny it did <laughs> but the Dylan thing is like it's more interesting. Like, did you watch any of the clips? Did you watch? I it? watched some on TikTok. Sorry. Yeah, just kind of didn't pay for it. I did. Fifty four dollars. I could fill up half my tank with that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Did you watch it alone? Yeah, I watched it. I'm like looking at it like on my phone, and I was so excited when Dylan walks up because I'm like, he showed up. I'm. This is such a big moment. Yeah. A uh, tear, little tear. A <laughs> little tear. And then I was watching it, and I was like, oh. So he's just gonna troll and like pretend not to fight, and then like do like he did like the Nate Diaz thing against Jake, where he yeah. like, was like not caring and talking, shit. and then like jumped on the ground and like tried to put him in like a like a double A. It was weird, and then just I think the he threw like nine punches first like seventy or something. That's crazy. Yeah, they yeah. got us, dude. We yeah, got, I talked to this guy for, for Raw Talk on my, on on, uh, on Tuesday about it. I'm just like, if if. If the kind of boxing keeps going like that with these like YouTuber these events, that people are gonna be like, Fuck this shit. yeah, I know, yeah, it's, it's kind of a never mind. It was a letdown. Say, yeah, I was gonna say it's kind of. Did you watch KSI Tommy Fury? No. Damn, you're not a podcaster, dude. Look at you. I, I you gotta, rely on you to educate me. I know, and I and I'm here for that. But like, you know, you gotta you gotta Who get one Tommy right. This is good. I love how you literally don't know Wait, what's Tommy going on. What? What's going on with your fucking watch? I got a notification for what? One Take of my that Watch off. What the, Take that Apple Watch no off. No one's going to buy me off. anything better. I always get it on, though, when I wear these. Yeah. 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 Let me see it. No. Oh, my God. No. Let me see it. No, you're going to throw it. Let me see it. I'm I not paid gonna throw, money for I this. I would never throw that. No. I would never throw that. 
But whenever I wear this in social settings and everyone's got like a Rolex or like an AP on, they're always like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, it tracks my calories. Ah. You see it? No. Just let me see it. Why? I just want to take care of it for a second. Get this out of here, dude. The fuck are you doing wearing checking your stupid ass out? What are you getting? Like a someone text messaging you? Yes, it notifies me. Did you see the, the Andrew t- uh, spin on that when he was talking about his perspective on that? No, what do you say? So funny. He's what just joking he- out. It's like you just pick up your phone. It's the same shit. It's like this, you're gonna look and like what are you gonna fucking talk into it or some shit? Like you're 007. Who are you? Jeez, this is what I mean. You have anger. No, I'm in not your- mad. I'm you not mad. mad. Roid rage. Dude, really? Roid wow. rage. So you're gonna go to Japan tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. And how long are you gonna be there? Are you gonna be back? Five days. Okay, so you're coming home soon. Yeah, we're coming back for the uh for Vegas. Yeah, power slap. Okay. And we're doing that. Hopefully but you do- realize you might have to take are you going to come to LA first or go straight to Vegas? LA. Okay, because we might have to pack these and take them to Vegas so we can do our next week's podcast. Yeah, well, I'm going to well, I'm coming back here and then we're bringing Do you I want mean, a road trip to Vegas? On what? In in, in, in your the van? van? Yeah. We Maybe. can make a YouTube video we, we out gotta of it. We got to get we got to get I think we got to fly Steve here and then do it. Yeah, let's do that. Cuz then we could stream cuz I have the fucking Starlink on that bit. Let's do that. That'd be fancy. Yeah, let's do that. What? Yeah, drink whatever you want. You're good. Um, but hold on. There was something I was talking about before we started to go into this. I was going to roast Watch, you. Andrew Apple Tate. Watch right before right before that. Logan and J- Dylan. KSI and Tommy Fury. Oh, That's KSI. what we got to talk about. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I don't really know either of them, so. So you just didn't watch it? Mm-mm. Okay, you got to get educated on this kind of stuff. So, um, well, Tommy won. I, okay. Um. It was an interesting fight because, like, obviously, Tommy's trying to, like, maintain distance. Yeah. And KSI's whole game plan is, like, come in overhand right and then, like, clinch. Yeah. If he doesn't, like. So it just became, like, they're just, they just kept doing this and then clinching. What? Why are you? No, it was just, like, and then clinch. And then, like, bang, bang. And then clinch. Oh. Bang, bang. Like, bang, Ooh, like, oh. like, head shots. Okay, okay. Low shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Tommy won by decision. Yeah, and it, like there was some like, oh, they thought he thought he he won, he thought he won, whatever. But it was just like it was a boring fight because there was just so much hugging. Yeah, but I don't. I, I think, think it's just so their fighting styles. Fighters, what? I think it's so cute when fighters hug. Mid, it's cute when fighters hug. When they like, you know, they're throwing punches and they just hug. For you know, they're not trying to hug, right? Huh? They're not trying to hug. You thought they were just like trying to hug, like <laughs> like, oh, like, I, like I hit like, like my I hit you a few times, but like, like I love you, still love but you. But like, yo, we're yeah, in this yeah, together. Yeah. No, I think they're trying to like kill each other. But why Fires. do they hug? Did Dylan and Jake hug? Dylan and Jake, I love how you said that because there's it's, it's <laughs> Logan, but there was oh, also Logan. yeah, no, I love that. But that's funny because announcer was literally watching the fight. I was watching the fight. He's like, and Jake Paul unloads on Dylan Davis. I'm like, oh, oh. my god. But I get it. Whatever. Um, Logan- no, they didn't hug because that fight was just Dylan going like this, oh. getting hit and running away. <sighs> That's all that. That literally, you could, the whole entire fight I, was the, the same All the day. clips I saw was Dylan like this. and The entire like, fight. The yeah. whole fight was like, that's why I was like, Wait, did Dylan fuck? have any injuries? Like what? Like after like, the fight? Yeah, was he, he like, like concussion? Bruised up. No. Oh. Nothing crazy. But he, like he was eyes fucked up, whatever. Damn. Yeah. But anyways, that shit is interesting. I don't know why Dylan was talking all that shit. He's not really that guy. Yeah. Kind of crazy. I guess that, that's his, that's his But thing. that's how, that's how the internet goes. You talk shit. And then, yeah, and then what? <laughs> and then you. F- in. Did you see Zerka reacting to our podcast? No. He what reacted to me, you, and Sneeko. What was it? What did he say? And I was like, if Sarah, he, one thing he said, he was Zerka was like, if Sarah was smart, she would have a document written up and leverage Sneeko. <laughs> do- what document would you get written up? Like not to film with other like girls or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know what I didn't watch. But do you actually feel like you're, like he you, he shouldn't film with other girls? I don't get it. No, no, it's not that deep. Like, it's, yeah, it's not. I, yeah. I meant like, especially not right now. I just meant if he, anyone, if anyone wanted to film with me and wanted to play it off as we were a relationship online, that's what I misconstrued the first time. Like what what I was leaving out. It's not just like. Just because you're filming with me, it means you can't film with other women. It's like if you're filming with me and you're putting it online that like, oh, her and I are like a thing. Then next stream you have someone else on. It's just like, but that's his idea. It's like four wives, which I I mean, I get to each of their own. But 
so well that's a question i mean people have is like was so were you guys a thing then you know no it wasn't it was just because it appeared that way it appeared that way yeah yeah and you just what the idea is that like if he starts doing it with other girls that like you feel like you'll look stupid but it's not it's already stupid because it's not real you know what i'm saying uh, not that i'll look stupid but the aspect of like oh she's okay with it being like three or four girls which I'm not yeah. okay with. Genuine, like, I don't even if, care what. If it's appearing that you guys are if like. If it's in appearing, a, even if we're not, if even if it's all just for cameras, is what I'm saying, I still look a certain way and I still feel a certain way. Yeah. He called me last night at one in the morning, woke me up and said, are you down for Japan? And I said, I can't, like, I'm going to China. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Japan versus China. Oh, yeah. That's pretty funny because as soon as we were streaming, he was calling me. And you walk in right when he right when he calls me, and his first the first words out of his mouth were, "Why is Sarah there?" He thought it was all sus. Yeah, he thought it like, was sus. Should have trolled him. Yeah, he only ever calls me like while he's streaming, anyways. So. Oh damn. Yeah. Yeah. Meow. Huh? Huh? Meow. Does that make you sad? What? No, it's the name of the game. Does it make you sad? No, it doesn't make me sad. Okay. Are you sad? No, I'm not. I think I had a little bit of emotions built up like three podcasts ago because mm. it was kind of new to me. But now I realize like work and emotions like have to be separated. Yeah. Have you separated Even them? Completely because like I'm butthurt that you don't invite me places. <laughs> As a woman, yeah. As a woman, my feelings get hurt. Yeah, it's normal. So... But work and, just and you like, know. like you told me earlier, like, well, we'll both be at Power Slap. And I'm like, yeah, we're both going to be there, but not because you invited me there. Yeah. It's the idea of you being like, yo, Sarah, I want you there because like you can help me and stuff. And I'll be like, oh, my God, like, thanks. Like, I'd love to help you. Wow. So, yeah. But we're, we're both going to be there. Don't yeah. say it again. I'm saying like we're both there. Yeah, you know? I know. But like, do you want me there? Yeah, it's great when you're there. Why? Because you're like loud and annoying. Thank you. But like that makes for really good content. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll probably I'll probably do the slap thing against it. you. Huh? I'll probably do the slap thing against you. You don't hit me on camera. No, this is for the slap contest. Oh. It's an official thing. Because you always do hit me, but it's always off camera. No, but like we're going to do it for real, for real, because it's like slap competition. But how does that even make sense, judging that you're 260 and I'm 130? Last time I was at Power Slap, I saw your friend Dan um, Bolzerian. Yeah. And I went up to him and I was like, hi, like, I'm like Bradley's son. He was like, nice to meet you, little kid. He go like this? <laughs> yeah, and he patted me on the head. <laughs> yeah. Is that literal, literally what happened? And then I was like, can I come on your boat? And he was like, no, you have to be a woman for that. He did not say that to you. What? Actual, how did that <laughs> interaction actually go? He probably went like this. Oh, cool. No, he was like, oh, Bradley, Martin. Yeah, cool, cool. And I was like, yeah, nice to meet you. That's how you intro yourself to Dan? Yeah. Go ahead. Pretend I'm Dan. Do the intro. Hi, Dan. Like, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Hey. Oh, hi, Sarah. And I was like, yeah, like, um, do you know Do you know the person who put me on the map? Like, Bradley Martin? And he was like, Bradley? Bradley Martin? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, cool. And then I walked away and ate some um, kebabs. Wow. Yeah. That's, Wow. But it was in the time, like, I met him in the time that you kept talking about him because you and him were supposed to do a podcast together. Yeah. yeah. We're still going to do the pod. Yeah, right. I mean, Did you yeah, find right. a pod person for this week? Yeah, I got it. I Who got is it? it? It's, uh, it's, it's They'll Wade. They'll see this after. Yeah, it's Wade Flem. He's a, he's a sports commentator. So we talked about the fights. He wanted me. Did he bring me up? No. On your podcast? No. He asked me to be on his podcast a few nights ago. Oh. And I said no. Yeah, I didn't. he didn't bring you up. Because I was busy. Damn, if you're bougie, huh? You're like, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. No, I said that, like, Bradley owns me. I can only do what he's okay with. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good that you said that. Because you just said, you, once you get it out there, then it's not awkward, you know? Yeah, I was then like. Then they go, you said you're going to have to RSVP with Brad. Yeah, that's what I told him. Shoot us an email. Mommy and Daddy talks at gmail.com. Is that really an email? That's an email. Okay. That's actually our email. Oh, that's good. In now case I know. brands want to hit us up. That's a real Yeah, email. hit us up. That's a real one for real. Okay, for real, for, for real. Have you packed for tomorrow? Nope. Okay. Stressing. You are? Fully stressing. I can I help you. I hate packing. From what I've seen when we do go on trips, you don't bring anything and then you buy everything in the city you're at. Yeah, but but there's a problem, Japan. 
What are, like, what oh, am I going to buy? Fucking you little hate Japanese leotards? people. No, no, I'm just going to buy like a little. What am I buying? Oh, Do they have like sp- just spandex. Like, what do they sell there? It's a country. Like, they have regular clothes. They have gym clothes. I mean, I'm sure they'll have sweatpants and t-shirts. They don't yeah. have raw gear, so I'm just going to. I'm just going to send everything there. Send raw gear there? That's yeah. going to be really expensive. Does raw gear ship to Japan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send a big ass package. Okay. We could stuff you in it. So I can come. Yeah, but like super economy economy. You know what I'm saying? Like Wait, if we the, were, the, if I the... was to go to Japan, would you buy me first class? <laughs> what? Would you buy me first class if I was <laughs> to come what, to Japan? If you were to go to Japan, you buy your own fucking ticket. <laughs> what are you talking about? What the? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm buying my own ticket. Steve buying his own ticket. You buy your own damn ticket. What you mean? First class? First class? You'd be economy economy plus. You'd be in the fucking box and un- under the fucking, you know, they got the separate, they had the box, they got the cargo, everywhere's bags and then boxes. You'd be where the boxes are. That's crazy. Yeah. Did you buy first class for yourself? Uh, no. Business or whatever. Uh, I, that I hate. You're struggling I right now, huh? Hate. Huh? Are you struggling? Why am I struggling? No. No, I just honestly don't like to waste money on flights like that. I agree. I hate it because it's like. Dude, you're literally, oh man, it's just a stupid amount How of money. How long is the flight? 11 hours. But it's a stupid amount of money if you can, like, you can literally get on that flight for like a thousand bucks. Yeah, but you're the guy that bucks. I would not want to sit next to on the airplane because you're so big. Yeah, and I'm also the guy that I'm so awkwardly, like, big on an airplane that, like, I'm really uncomfortable unless I have, like, more space. Yeah. Like, genuinely just. That's why I thought you'd have to buy first class. Well, business is, like, kind of similar. People that are that overweight, do you think they should be charged for two seats? I mean, if they take up two seats, yeah. Yeah. It's not even about being overweight. It's just like a literal, if they're literally in two seats, then they're taking two seats. Did you see that Nav performed at Aiden's birthday no, thing? No, I saw a photo of Neon and Nav, which is funny. It was funny. It was like brown boys or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, he also had Chief Keep performing. Mm-hmm. He, said, he said the N-word, too. You saw that? Who did? Aiden. Oh, I didn't see that. Well, he was singing the song, whatever. Fuck. He said it with. with oh, so it's okay Keith. to say it if you say it on the song. I don't. I mean, bro, that's not my word to say, but I'm saying he said it. I guess while he was singing the song with Chief Keith. You know, he got him hyped up. Streamers can get away with anything, though. Seems like. I feel like anyone can get away with anything if they just wanted to and just didn't care enough. But then there's certain things. That, okay, you know, then do it. Do what? Say it. I don't say that though. Like, even if I was, like, sh- trying to get away with something, it's like... Like, if you're alone in the car driving, do you say it? No. Why'd you hesitate? Because I don't say it. I was I was trying to picture myself alone in the car driving, <laughs> singing a fucking song, and I was like, nah. You, like, just skip it, or you just... I skip it? Like, do you just, like, like you're singing along, and then you're like... No. I think I say it in my head, but, like, I... And then I keep... Singing. Really? Yeah. You censor yourself by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane, dude. But I think it's because usually I'm with people in the car. Or uh, like so like I always always censor myself, especially around people. Yeah, because they're like this. They're like, what'd you say? Yeah, they're like, wait, they're like Sarah, say like that. play back the song. Play that one more time. <laughs> like me. Yeah. yeah. What a weird life, the internet, man. Is it what you thought it was gonna be? Um like what was your perception of it before it was? Before it was, I was like, bro, it's so easy. Everyone yeah. makes so much money on social media. Like, it's a joke, blah, 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 blah. But there's a lot of things. It doesn't matter. And I've come to realize, I don't think it matters how good you look. Because I've heard a lot of people saying, like, bro, like, I've heard them saying it, like, about Neon or about other people. It's like, well, if he looks this way, like, then I can obviously do it. But it's not about looks. No. Because even me, I keep. I feel like in the fitness industry, it's kind of about looks, though. Maybe it's about physique and aesthetic a little bit. Yeah. But it's also about other things, like the Trend Twins, strength. Well, it's, yeah, but I don't even know if it's a strength. Or like Sam Sulek, do you think he's a handsome man? No, I don't think it's, I don't think though, like those successes aren't because of just physique. Like obviously to get to a certain degree and like to really be successful, it is definitely personality driven. Yeah. For sure. And like what someone is, you know, the kind of banter, the kind of like interactions they have, how genuine it feels, all that kind of shit. Yeah. That's what makes people successful for sure. Yeah. Sam just capitalized on the fact that for the last 10 years, because 10 years ago, that's like how everyone made content. Yeah. It was just like, this is what I'm doing. Just raw. This is it. Exactly. And then it became this whole doctored up, like have to look this way, get these shots, Picture edits, perfect. all this kind of shit. Yeah. 
And so he just went, it just went, the whole thing just goes in circles. Like everything goes in circles. Yeah. He just Wait, hit I have it. a question speaking on this topic. Why is Steve will do it so obsessed with Sam Solik? Like he t- even posted Instagram about him. I think he just watched a video or some shit. Oh. And it was like, oh, this is dope. Because we were talking about it, the kind of training is like, that's how he and I would just train or how like to, to be honest, that's how I used to train before there was ever the fucking Internet. I was just training to like crazy sets of failure pretty much every time. Yeah. And then you like then you start to film and you're like, all right, I got to fucking talk to this camera. All right, guys, we're doing this. And then it's like you give all that extra energy towards like yeah. something that's not the workout. And I, he was telling me how it just reminded him of that. He was oh, like, oh, that's I like good. This. Yeah. That's cute. Like to, to, to get yourself back into it without just like doing it for a camera or doing it because like you're just trying to get it done, like really being in it. Yeah. You don't know nothing about that. It's like different. It's more like like a us thing. What do you mean? What's like an a us? Man, like a man thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like really trying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or then do you know about that? I don't. You, you really, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> are you, are Dude, you, Brad's yeah. whole thing is like whenever he says something, he's either like, I'm kidding, bro. Come on. You know I love you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or his thing is, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love when you get halfway mad. <laughs> those are the two things he always resorts to. If you watch any podcast he's yeah. on. You need are- an out, dude. You need an out, you know? Yeah. You need an out sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, I don't like really know. Like when you want to stay neutral, you're like, I love it. I, I love it. I don't really know what to say here. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's pretty good. much. So yeah. it's like, it's better. It's better that way. Mm-hmm. What about you? What's your out? I don't what's have your an de- out. What's your default? My default? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, I just, like, try to remove myself from the situation. So that when you went to the bathroom in the other pod, you didn't have to actually go? No. Really? <laughs> yeah. What just, the f- You just started making me, like, uncomfortable. So you time. just had to leave, and that's... Yeah. Do you think I look like a tramp? Dude. No. What the f*** <laughs> are you talking about? Also, like, isn't that such a subjective thing? Because, like, you, who, you know? I know. Ones look is. like this, and some look like that. Yeah, I know. You know, they got but- them in fucking Thailand. They look... Sp- they look like more feminine. How do you know? I'm just I've seen it, dude. Been there. <laughs> yeah, you've literally, been there. I've literally been there. What? You've been there? No, you know, I haven't been there. I didn't go all the way there. I'm just saying I've been to Thailand and oh, I've seen oh. it. I think that you've been there. I went with Dan. I went with Dan. We walked this strip. It's like this like red light in Thailand. Mm-hmm. And I guess there's a fucking bunch of them. So we're walking, and I remember someone was like, Oh, like we're like walking by, and someone's like, Yeah, this is where I was like, this shit. And we're like, what the fuck? But they all just look like straight up girls. So I'm saying they they didn't look like oh, dudes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like apparently they get like they they file their fucking thing. This is a real thing. I'm not I'm not like they I, file it. Not I mean obviously not with the nail file, <laughs> but like they get a surgery to like flatten oh. their thing. The, Adam's apple. Yeah, Adam's apple. Um, I guess they they always say like the thing you can never you could always know is like their knuckles, like they got manly hands. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, but sometimes I feel like if you're just skinny, your hands always, your hands, if they look frail, like if you're skinny, they just look frail. Yeah, but I feel like knuckles is kind of like more masculine. Why are we talking? This is such a weird ass. Do you ass- think mine? Like, what? Yours? Like, how do they look? I pop them, so they're kind of fat. Kind of, kind of brolic. Like, you look like you could pick up like some tires. I could. You could pick up some tires and throw them. Yeah. Maybe like carry some like, like if you had a hook and like hay and like. Yeah. And like throw it on the back of a truck. Okay. The real country shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you ever think about living a life like that? Like imagine completely. Some people like that. I don't think I, I don't think I, I don't think that's for me. So you like the noise? No, no, no. I like some noise, but I don't like complete silence either. Like I don't want to be in a, be on a ranch with my husband and my two weirdo children because we're around no one else. They'd be weirdos because they're around no one else. Yeah, I think so fair i think you have to be around like other people and experience different cultures and different people and different i don't know just different experiences if you're on a ranch and you like live just next to some other ranch people but isn't there some beauty in that i feel like there's some beauty in like that like just living in basically yeah maybe because we're so caught up in this like true everything. but then if you live basically as a child and then you move to somewhere else you're just like so like dis shocked yeah culture shock yeah it's a culture shock yeah i feel like you can overcome that pretty quickly but i feel Depends like on the kid what if then he's like a piece of shit because he was raised on a ranch and then he like grows up to be like this racist Sneeko. person huh because he's watching sneeko right that's how that that's what they're doing to the kids right 
Oh Isn't my god. Isn't that what they god. say? Isn't that what they say? What do you mean? Nah, I'm just No, kids. It. I mean, I guess people of all ages watch Zico. <laughs> I love I how was you wrong. correct yourself. It's a joke, dude. Dude, I'm just fucking. Uh, don't act all. Don't, no. like, don't try to. You I'm know? done. I'm done trying to like be this assertive female. I'm just going to comply and like cook and clean and like stick to the womanly duties. W, and, W's. W's in And the not chat. make any money and wow. have the man provide for me. And yeah, I'm just, I'm done with. Trying to be myself. <laughs> Do you think you could ever live like that? Actually. You know, I I was thinking about this. I think it's the way I was raised because my mom, my mom raised me as a single, single mom. Yeah. Okay. No man in the picture. Yeah. Me and my brother. She raised us. Never saw her cry. She was extremely strong. She made all of her own money. She did not rely on a man to provide or any of that stuff. So I think that's why maybe yeah. some of my characteristics are the way they are is because I was raised by a mom, mom that had to do that. Yeah. A mom that had to do everything herself and it makes sense. Whatever. I mean, there's a lot of good qualities from that. I think there's a lot of good qualities as well. For sure. But I mean, apparently some people don't see that. So and just refer it to with that being said, I'm just going to comply. Wow. And not have any opinions of my own because women shouldn't speak. Wow. That's crazy. Right. I mean, that's a. And women shouldn't drive. So. In a perfect world, you know? What the fuck? What? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. No, dude. No, they have to. No. They yeah. have to fucking, you know, work and. It's all subjective. Some guys like that kind. Some guys like assertive. I think I like a, a mix of both. I think you do too. Where it's like you want someone to have something that they really enjoy doing, they're passionate about. And then you also want someone that is like willing to, I guess, kind of. Uh, submit to kind of like what you're doing as well yeah you know of course so but i don't know it's weird like i wonder if there's a perfect if there's a perfect balance for it because like at the same time too when i think about it like a woman that i'd like to get uh, i'd like to have you'd want her to also want to because have a passion a passion and do more things for herself like where's that line of like when it's too much you know when it maybe it's more than you I don't think it'd ever be more than me. Yeah, I don't think so either. But you're a, a you're a you're a gem with that. Like you already do the most. Yeah, too much sometimes. Too much sometimes. You're right. Yeah, that's actually one thing that I'm really like looking at in my life. Where I'm like, man, I need to slow down a little. I've bit. I've told you this though from the beginning when I yeah. met you that you like you utilize your time so much in the business aspect of things, not just raw gear, not just zoo culture, ten other things that we're not going to talk about. But I'm saying you utilize your time with work things so much. Yeah. That like your relationships or friendships are minuscule. Not yeah. minuscule, but I'm saying. I just need more time. You, it, Well, that's not going to happen. You're not going to I can get, what if I get a clone? They're doing that now. Me? Well, no. I'm you're a like mini a you. female clone. Yeah. We need one that's more like physically capable. Mm, you know, right. less emotional, more assertive and like dominant and like hardworking. <gasps> less like, you know. The like, hardworking? I'm, okay, that's a that's a jab. That was that just one, a jab. That, one that was, was a too jab. Far. You're very hardworking. Thank that's you. something I'll never take from you. Um, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, dude. Let's get a clone. Okay. Let's do it. Like, if I had a clone, damn, what would I be doing? If I could just have a, my clone do all my shit, what would I be doing? You're the type of person that you'd have a clone. And so I, then you just work overtime. You work I know. double. I was literally you about would, to say that. You would shit. do the same exact things you're doing right now, just two X speed. Yes, Fuck, dude. You what would, a fucking loser. You would not utilize your time for a relationship. You would not find friends. You would just build more businesses. What a fucking what a loser, man. You're not a loser. I'm gonna wake up one day and be like, "What have I done?" No, you're not. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm not. I think you're proud of yourself. Life's great. Yeah, I'm actually super grateful. Yeah. Do you need someone to like take care of your dogs and stuff while you're gone? Yeah, I got. I, we just hired a new assistant. Bro, you be going through these assistants faster well, than you go dude, through girls. The, okay, that's <laughs> insane. That's a crazy <laughs> accusation. But no, the last assistant we we had him for like one day, and he fucking you know did some. Are you gonna talk about it? I don't know. It's such a I don't weird. Know like, well, I, know. I don't. I don't think people know him. No one's gonna know him, so it's not gonna like put anything out there. But like, okay, you know, we guys. gave him a credit card for one day, and he was like, "I'm gonna spend it on my own shit." And we looked at him and we're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. So I was like, what? That, that sucks. happens. Yeah. I guess it happens. I don't know. I'm just surprised. Like, I mean, I understand. I mean, I guess I don't understand because I wouldn't do it. But on the first day, first week, like, well, how are you going to steal money? Yeah. You know, 
It, I don't get it. It is what it is. So who's this new assistant? Um, this one's a girl. The other one was a guy. Um, Where did you find her? Well, Ethan's been looking on like Indeed and just like just, just oh, okay. different job posting things. It's really hard finding just good good employees in I general. I told you I would be your assistant. Yeah, you are way too expensive, dude. You are significantly then be my assistant right now. I will. For what you already get paid. Okay, then I'm gonna stop promoting raw gear. D- just be my assistant? <laughs> yeah. It was you're not it's not gonna it's you're gonna get way more money doing raw gear, dude. Yeah, no, I know. So I would saying. not I couldn't be your assistant. You couldn't. You no. literally could not. Uh, you'd yeah. tell me to do something. I'd be like, bitch, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? No, I'd be like, man. do it yourself. And you're like, Sarah, you get paid for this. Bro, it would not work. No. So is she cool? I, I mean, she's cool. she was cool so far. I mean, I don't, you know, it's always, I feel like that's always a work in progress where you're yeah. like, we'll see. It's a whip. It's always like, we'll, we'll, yeah, it's a whip. Work in progress. Okay. Yeah. It's always a, we'll see. Cause yeah. you never know. Cause it's also this type, this business is so like changing and like fluid and different. Yeah. Where someone might be like, I expect this. And then once they get is they're like, oh, shit, I didn't know it was this and that and this yeah. and that. Do you so. think sometimes you're scared to hire people because you don't know if they actually want to work, work period, or it's because they want to be around you? Yeah. First thing I always check is do they have social media and do they have like a following? Does it look like they're trying to build a following? Okay. And I'm always kind of like, uh, hesitant on that. Yeah. Um, you don't want another clout chaser around you. No, nah, I'm done with the clout chasers, man. Yeah, you already have one sitting in this room. Yeah, we got fucking the me, biggest. Me, I one. meant yeah. Yeah, yeah not no. Jacob. No, yeah, not Jacob. Yeah, me, no, Jacob's opposite of clout. No, chaser. I know. He don't give a fuck. No, I know. I meant myself. It yeah, was... you're fucking. You're like triple, like a double double. That's quadruple. Well, three stack was your stack, right? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, no, it's really tough to find to find good people for sure. But that's just a normal thing, I think, in this business because it's like, yeah, it's just difficult, really difficult. I really struggle with that shit. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm. I wish you the best with her. Yeah, I think she'll be good because she's like into some hippie shit. She what? She's into some hippie shit. What do you mean? What does that mean? Yeah, where's she's she like, from? Oregon. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait a sec. What? Why does Oregon equal hippie? Like, Doesn't it? What? Doesn't Oregon equal hippie? Bro, that was hilarious. Or like what Santa the fuck Cruz? are you talking about? I don't know. I feel when I think like, or maybe I'm thinking, dude, of- Santa Cruz. That's crazy, spot on. Because my brother is like super kind of hippie. Like lives in his van, and he lived in Santa Cruz. Like first place when he moved yeah, out. Yeah, it's in hippie. Cruz. I love that. I love it there. Well, why though. Oregon? I don't know. Oregon, I think is hippie. Is it? it Jake, is. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? I think hippie. Oregon is hippie? Guys, in the comments. Because like the I just... fucking Oregon Trail? Like, what are you talking no, about? No, not because about that Oregon. game? No, it's like everyone's like thrifting. Do you ever play Oregon Trail? No. You're way too young for that. Fuck, dude. I'm such an old fucking piece of shit, man. It's crazy. I quit. Are you I quit, good? dude. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting now. Oh, yeah. I'm done Rolls with this shit. Reversed. See how good this podcast goes. This podcast without you? Yeah. It would just be mommy. Yeah, that would suck. Jacob could be daddy. Yeah. He said, nah. Fuck oh. no. Sorry, Sarah. Jeez. <laughs> no. We don't need the emphasis on the fuck part. He said, fuck no, like three times. Yeah, yeah. For real. No, um, I honestly don't understand that slander on Oregon, though. It wasn't slander on Oregon. Anyways, what else is she besides hippie? Uh, she's a hippie. Um, she's a girl. She w- w- seems to work out. Um... Yeah, that's, all, that's kind of what I know. That's good. I just look at the Instagram and I click on the, the bio and I'm like, yeah, she's a hippie. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, like the people who are like, <laughs> so funny, dude. Wait, can I see dude, her Instagram? Why did he laugh so I hard? I don't know. He laughed. He laughed. He made me laugh, bro. Can I see your Instagram? I don't even know. Just search it on yours. Dude, let's answer some questions from Discord. Let's okay. do this. Because honestly, I'm loving it. It's my favorite. This is my favorite platform. Discord's incredible. I know. I saw you post an Instagram story about it today. Yeah. If you guys go to discord.gg slash raw gear, we have a channel for mommy and daddy talk and we have the questions in here and there's a ton. Holy shit. Can you sell me drugs? That's not. Are you still 260? You're not. Uh, guys, breaking news. Brad weighed in this morning at 259 Bro, pounds. That's a fucking lie. There's no way I would have been able to breathe throughout the day if I was 259. The world would be too heavy for my small body. 
Brad, do it clap. Okay, we just Brad Jesus, does it. Bro. Brad what does it clap. Fuck, let me let bro. me read the questions. No, you're gonna you're no. gonna ask stupid questions. No, like, I won't. Is it pink? You're the one that asked that three episodes ago, so don't yeah. even try. Give me the phone. All right, here. I thought that was someone I hated. Sorry, it's not. It's not. Isn't that nice? Fucking Android. I thought iPhones were sick. Oh, this is a dope phone. I'm telling you. Discord.gg slash raw gear. Check it out. Ooh. Who is your dream guest for a podcast? Um, Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, Donald Trump. That's a good three. Yeah. Elon is probably... No, actually, Joe Rogan is number one. Mm. To ask him questions. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Rogan. Um, We should do meet and greets. Yeah. I'm down. That's what someone said. We should plan that. Brad, how's the nicotine going? Sarah, down to spar? I'm down to spar. How's your nicotine addiction going? Um, I'm getting my levels up. What? Getting my levels up. So you like, keep doing nicotine? No. Then what is... No. Then what do you mean I'm getting my I'm not levels addicted. Up? I didn't ask if you're and addicted. I'm saying I'm not addicted. You, I'm just saying that I'm not it addicted. It seems like you're addicted. All I'm saying is I'm Bradley not addicted. Bradley Martin is addicted to nicotine, confirmed. I'm not addicted. Ooh, this is a good one. Do you think Neon has longevity in social media? What? You're literally putting nicotine in I'm not in addicted, your... dude. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. I'll tell you why. I don't think that the the manner of like like every time it being like some sort of crazy over the top joke or um outlandish thing is sustainable yeah but i think he's smart enough to know when to like pivot to like move not that he all of a sudden just wouldn't be funny or wouldn't make jokes but i think what he's doing right now is hitting really hard and i think he's he has like incredible like path to like continue on but at some point like there's there there is going to be some sort of and i kind of asked him about this on the pod that we had like there's going to be a shift. There will be a change. And I think he's smart enough to figure out when that change is necessary. Yeah. You know, because he's not dumb. He's very, very smart. You could tell, I could tell us by hanging out with him and the way he like interacts with people. He is smart. And because he also is very aware of this industry and like how clips are just basically everything. Everything. Now. He knows. So he knows to start interactions or engagements with like very specific like things that. He is good at that. Send it off. So. You're, you've gotten better at that, too. Thank you. Yeah, I've been yeah. trying. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, I, on the other hand, just keep it fucking real. You know? No, you're good at clips, too. I know. Because our, cli our clips pop off, and it's because I know, one or I, the other. I keep it real, and I just it's just do me, you know? Just like you, like, don't do OnlyFans, and you're better than other girls. Yeah. I just keep it real. I mean, I never real. said that, but yeah. Yeah, but I, I just keep it real. Like, I'm just raw, I'm just genuine, straight up, just me all day, uncut, you know? You <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> this is me raw Yo, mixtape coming soon <laughs> <laughs> Mixtape coming soon Yes, yes Mark your calendars What's your password? About to fucking burn your house down What's your password? Huh? What's your password? What? What's your password? It's a Let me see Just give me your password Can I see that? Bradley, I, give me your password Can I see it? We're close enough that I should know your password You know okay. mine Okay, can I see that? Actually, oh, I gotta check something Okay Yeah, hold on I gotta check something <clears throat> Okay Sarah and Brad. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, I want to ask you questions. Hold on. I want to ask this one. It's really important that I do this since I'm a much better speaker. Sarah and Brad, has any... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you already... <laughs> no, but it's the way they wrote it. Has any one of you at any point actually thought the internet was a mistake? Like, yes, it brings you money. Yes, it is an embodiment of convenience and interconnection. It's interesting. But can you actually imagine yourself without it? No. I can't imagine myself without it, but for, I mean, a lot of times I do think like, I'm like everything that I've said with on this podcast, everything I've done, whatever, every picture I've ever taken, it's already out there. And what if I do want to do something else? It's like, if you look at my name, there's already so much, like everything's already out there. Yeah. But, but you're not doing anything that's like bad. Yeah. I'm not doing anything bad, but at the same time, it's like. People can view it as like you're getting carried away there for a moment. Yeah, but you're not doing anything bad. Yeah. Do you regret? Like, any you started doing hardcore when we had to pull you back, bruh. Hey, that's when we we're like, Sarah, dude, what's going on? I've, I don't do hardcore. I Sorry, never have. soft. 
Yeah, like that sounds core. weird. It's like softcore. <laughs> you made it weirder. Did I? Sorry. Um, is there any point that you've regretted doing social media? No. I only regret not speaking up about things sooner. Yes. Blah, blah, yeah. Yeah. That's my biggest regret. Yeah. I think that's valid. So there's certain things that's where valid. it's like, to a degree, you know, keeping quiet is like good. But there's also to a degree where it's it can be detrimental. And letting people run a narrative is never a good thing. And so I realized that it's just like, speak your shit. That was my biggest mistake. Yeah. For sure. Serious questions. What do you think is the most important factor in chemistry between two people? Is it honesty? Is it This guy's got good fucking questions. Is it matching their energy? This guy sounds like me on a podcast. What does it all come down to? Is it keeping it real? Does it have something to do with the way one motivates slash betters the other? Wow. I think it has I think everything comes down to chemistry. I think it's the way two people either interact or what's said between them and how the other one takes it. I think it's all chemistry. But you can build good chemistry with people. But what that's uh, you're right, 100%. Like I'm not, not taking anything away from that answer, but what do you think, like, I don't know. I, I'm trying to answer, I'm trying to ask a question for, with the audience in mind. Like, when they watch content or they watch people, I guess, what is their perception of what good chemistry looks like? I think their perception of good chemistry is banter. And okay. I think it's just... So, like, like, joking. Joking. But I think that's okay. why, because, you know, they're... They, a lot of comments are like, oh, you and Brad have great chemistry. Like you and Sneeko have great chemistry. But I think it's because you and Sneeko have this in common that regardless when I'm with you guys, I can just make jokes and you can make them back. Yeah. Sure. I take some of them up, up the app, but like, well, it's because you're a woman. Because I'm a woman, estrogen, <laughs> emotions, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying like the bros always take it up. That huh? What? Bro, you need to you and what you need to no, but that's like they're your bros though. It's different. You're sus. That's sus. You're so sus. Wow, sorry. You do some. You say and do some questionable things. So sorry. It's fine. There's. No I just issue figured like it. since you're like I'm starting to stream, be like live streaming. It's like okay, you know, like I've seen Aiden Ross. He's like successful. He's like acted sus for a long time. Yeah. So I figure like I'm I feel like a great. lot of streamers are a little sus sometimes. Yeah. What the yeah. Fuck? I don't know. You fit right in. You saying I'm sus? So do I. I'm sus. I'm not too. actually sus though. It's a joke. That's what every sus person says. No, <laughs> okay. I would never say that. If I was sus, I would just own it that I'm super sus. I would. I would own it. Okay. But I'm not. Anyways. Oh, I want to answer this question now. The most important factor between two people for chemistry. No, for content. Well, yeah, but this is but this is a question about chemistry. Oh. Um. I think it's a just a mutual understanding yeah. of like what it is. Yeah. Um, wow, that was a good answer. Good job, Bradley. Yeah, because I think like especially for content, it, I don't know. I think people can get caught up in trying to make themselves. This is what happens a lot, I think, is why chemistry will feel weird or like people will be like feel disrespected or like annoyed in, in certain circumstances while like making content or just people in general is like if I tried to banter with you, and every banter that I had was like trying to undermine you and never like supportive of you and what you were doing. Like you and you like subconsciously would probably resent you. Yeah. 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 So like when you see good banter, it's because it can go back and forth. Yes. That's the, I think that's the psychology behind like when it can go, I can, like you said, I can give it, give shit to you. You can give shit to me. Yeah. Like if I was just giving shit to you, that would feel at some point like you'd start to feel like a little bit like, oh, what the fuck? Like, yeah. So, could or be when like, like the bad starts outweighing the good, like if we're just constantly shitting on each other without like, yeah, you know, without some, me being like, yo, you're by great. the way, like you're dope, yeah, which is crazy because like you haven't told me that lately. No, I'm kidding, you tell me that all the time. I, I tell you, you all you. the time I'm how much you. I love you, how much I appreciate you, how much you I'm fucking, fucking you. dude. I say it on a daily basis, I tweet it out. I'm like, Bradley Martin made me. I know, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Okay, hold on, here we got some more questions from the same guy. What would you ideally want to tell someone close to you if it wasn't so hard? What the fuck? What does that mean? What would you ideally want to tell? That's a weird question. Yeah. What things do you crave to be reassured about? Damn. This guy's getting deep. What things do I crave to be reassured about? Yeah. That's a good question for that you. That is a good question. Um, 
Because I ain't a pussy. I don't crave for nothing. Except for yeah, I'm perfect. I know it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no. I think for me, it's my looks. I think you want to be reaffirmed about that. Yeah. What are you trying to be reaffirmed for? Like that you're pretty enough? Yeah, I think that I'm not. Not that I think that I'm not. Like I think I'm like good enough, but I've also Twitter. Twitter has Why been getting. Why are you do, dude? Twitter has been getting into my mind. Like, oh, like her face is a six. Blah blah blah. But like her personality is a ten. And I'm like, backhanded compliment. Like my personality isn't a dude, ten. Backhanded like it's compliments good. are sick though. But it's like fuck. we were talking about that the other day. We were, weren't we? Yeah, or it was. Uh, it might have been Nate and I. Oh. Either way, they're the best. Because it's like, you can really get someone good with that. What do you like to be reassured about? <sighs> I don't think anything. Bro. I don't, I, I don't need no reassurance, dude. What do I need to be reassured about? I don't know. You tell the me. Fuck you over here, bro, and me. Bro, what? I think there's a few things you like reassurance like about. Like what? How dare you? <laughs> it's not a bad thing. What? What is it? I think you expose me. Do it. I think. Go ahead. I think you like to know that. I don't even know that you're doing like a good job. Mm. But or that you've built great things or whatever. Like you're on the right path. Like you're doing great. Like keep going. Like that kind of affirmation. I think is what you like. From people around me. Yeah. I guess. Is there something you like more than that? Cheesecake. You fat I really, fuck. I really like cheesecake. I really like cheesecake too, but what we're and talking donuts. about words of affirmation. What do you think your love language is? Food. That's not a love language. Okay, sorry. Fat ass. Um, physical touch. Okay, you horn dog. No, just because like, not even that. Just like cuddling and shit. <laughs> is that weird? You're soft. Whatever. I don't care. I'm soft. I don't give a fuck. You know, like, and like, you know when like the people do like that to you? They like, cur- like gently... You don't get you don't you don't experience I guess that. I don't really experience okay, well, physical touch. <laughs> yeah, physical touch, and I feel like it's just that. Just that. Yeah, I guess some words of affirmation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mine's words of affirmation. Straight up. Yeah, straight up. Nothing else. Nothing else. You got it. You heard it here first, boys. You don't have to touch me. You don't have to do. You don't have to buy me anything. Nah, people joke and say you're asexual. Huh? People joke and say you're asexual. I see that a lot. I see that a lot too. Is it true? I mean, or are you bisexual? No, just I'm throwing just, that out there. <laughs> no, I'm definitely straight. I definitely like men. I feel like you're trisexual. What does that mean? Like just try I have big triceps. No, it's because you like try really hard. Bruh, what are you? Why are you shitting on me? I don't know. I okay. don't know. Sorry, I'll stop. No, I'm definitely, I'm definitely straight. Bisexual. Bradley. Trisexual. <laughs> straight. I almost said straight. bisexual. <laughs> You're like bi. Shit. Oh, bisexual. No, I'm straight. I'm 100 percent straight. I know. I'm fucking with you. Okay. Well, you wouldn't know, but I'm just telling. But are you, you asexual? No, I'm. Oh, I'm straight, but like I might be a little asexual. I just get caught up doing my own thing. Like I, like you think about like relationships in that aspect of like two people coming together. I feel like I don't think about that. Maybe it's because I'm 34. Yeah, it might and be that. Time is ticking. Yeah, you need to either freeze your eggs or find a girlfriend. So, <laughs> find uh, But for me, oh, this is a good question. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't actually I'm, fuck that. It's not really your stuff's not really that important right, right now. Right. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. That's actually really mean. Mm-mm. Please answer it. I have nothing to say. I answered it. Okay. What is the future of zoo culture? Ten to twenty years. I love this question. Ooh, are we gonna tell them? I'm hiring Sarah Safari, and her and I. Along with a team of um, fucking killers, yeah, are going to expand the gym. We're um, expanding, coming to a city near you. Yes, Should this we is tell actually, them a few of the cities. Yeah, so we're looking at Vegas, Dallas, Miami. Obviously, finding the right spot, and then probably, I'd probably say like Fort Lauderdale, um, or somewhere a little bit up the coast in, in Florida, mm-hmm. like to start. So I, I think Dallas. There's talks of Austin as well. But those are the those are like the first few places we want to open up. Vegas might be the first one. So it's gonna be dope. Yeah, but we're working on that. So to people ask about that. I'm I'm kind of I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit frustrated that it took me so long. Cause do you realize the zoo's been open for almost eight years? Yeah. 
which is fucking crazy. Yeah. That blows my mind because Yeah, but you've had a lot of other things to do in the past <clears throat> eight years. You're you're over here, you always act like the past eight years you've been sitting on your ass and then you look back and you're like, I've done nothing in the past eight years. Why do I not have more zoo cultures? Like, no, you've done a bunch of things in the past eight years. You can't keep beating yourself up yeah, about that. Yeah, but it's that. not enough, man. I could open up like... Oh my God, that's your toxic trait. Yeah. It's not enough. That might be. That might actually be my toxic trait. You tweeted that. What your toxic trait was what? My toxic trait is thinking that I can talk myself out of a ticket if a cop pulls me over. I think my toxic trait is literally what you just said. Not enough. Things, not and, enough. Yeah. and also, I have that problem with myself feeling like not enough. I think that's why my relationships and all that kind of... It's, that's a whole... Let's not talk about it. I don't Wait, wanna, let's talk about I don't it. I talk about it. Okay. Talk about it's too it. too deep. No, I went to therapy already this week. I don't want to. Did do you again. actually go to therapy this week? No, mm -hmm. you didn't. Yes, I did. What day? Two days ago. Uh huh. You went to therapy on a Saturday? Yeah, because it's virtual. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And how was it? It's good. What did she tell you? I didn't cry. Have you talked about me to your therapist? I would never talk to my therapist about you. Why? I'm kidding. No, I haven't talked to Does your therapist you. know about me? Yeah, she knows we do this podcast together. She knows that you're. That I'm what? Hmm? That I'm what? Hmm? That I'm what? Hold on a second. What is I'm she? trying to. Oh my God, you're so annoying. What is... Does your therapist know about me? I just want to know. Yeah, of course, dude. What? Oh, so what are you talking about? Because like, what do you do today? Oh, I did this. I filmed this podcast. I'm like, Sarah, if she was there again. Like, you know? Like, do you have like pause? Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is good. Okay. So you're walking down the street. Dude, you're so like ADD. It's hilarious. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Not. I'm okay. not. Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Okay. So you're walking down the street. Okay. And someone comes up to you and they're like, Thoughts on Sarah Safari. What do you say? Go. Off the top of your head, go. It's really strong. Physically? Mentally. No. But but sometimes very weak. Physically? Mentally. <laughs> but overall, great person. For sure. Very hardworking. Thanks. Consistent. You know what I'd say? You're you're most you're one of the most consistent people I know. Thank you. For sure. Okay, now you ask me the reverse question. Let's this is how you make clips. Questions. Do you not know? Like, okay, say you're walking down the street. Someone comes up to you. Like, do you not? Like, do I have to teach right. you? Oh, my God. Like, you Jesus, don't know what you're doing. Crazy. Okay, you want me to do it now? I try Yes, I'm trying okay, to get look, here we go. some you ready? clips made. Okay, you ready? God damn uh, all right, so say you're walking down the street. Okay. And someone goes, microphone, boom. Bradley Martin, what do you say? Bradley Martin, my lord and savior. <laughs> 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 no, I'd be like, Bradley Martin... Is an amazing 259 pound man. He has given me a lot. And I am eternally grateful for him. Eternal joggers code Sarah. Joggers.com, <laughs> <laughs> go right now, buy it. Oh, shit. And then I would say that. Um, they probably sold out, though. Yeah, they are sold yeah. out. Um, that, you know, you've, you've made a path for me and I'm forever grateful for you. That's Damn. what I'd say. Wow. I'd say you're a really good mentor. You're someone that I look up to. Um, I'd never want to be you, but yeah. I'd like to be like These you. These shoes are hard to fill. <laughs> ew. Why is that ill? I got big feet. You need bigger feet. You got tiny little feet. You got little weak feet. You know what they say about small feet? <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? I don't know. Do they say anything but about But the other feet? day, you know who DM'd me? Oh, God. Who else? Tony Hawk's brother. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> Mike Hawk. Dude, you, can, you literally can't use that joke ever again. You've what? used that in the f***ing vlogs, dude. Yeah, it's funny Who every time. It's no, funny it's every not. Time. Okay. Everyone's going to know you as Sarah Mike Hawk f***ing Safari, dude. That's what they're going to call you now. <laughs> Everyone call her Sarah Mike Hawk Safari. <laughs> That's who you are. <laughs> yeah, Mike Hawk. You know Mike Hawk? <laughs> yeah, this is Tony Hawk's brother, huh? Dude, you're f***ing, that's going to be your name on, you should change no, your Twitter but, handle. But Mike does have a sister named Candace. Dude, you are incredibly f***ing childish, man. I can't believe it. I'm tweeting that out. Yeah, you would tweet that out. Would you beat me in a street fight? Who'd win a street fight, me or you? You'd kill me. Mm. You just wanted to hear me say that. Yeah. Celebrity crush. What's, who's your celebrity crush? That's a good question. Okay, that is a good question. My celebrity crush? Yeah. I can't think. Can yeah. you give me a few options? We'll play Smash or Pass. Smash or Pass? Or not, sm not Smash as in actually have intercourse with them. Smash as in like, oh, they're attractive. The PG version. Boring. Okay, we can do it. Okay. Give me a few people. 
Obama. Smash. <laughs> I don't know why I said Obama versus Donald Trump. You know why? You still laughing, bro? Obama. Yeah. Fuck you. Okay, Donald Trump. Um, pass. Damn, Donald, Donnie, passing. Okay. Um, Elon Musk. Pass. Really? He's he, like he's incredibly smart and stuff, Jeez. but like too smart, like scary smart. And he has this thing that he wants to like repopulate with his own. I don't want to. With his own? With his own kids? Like he, no, no, he's he trying to make a bunch of kids. I don't know. But he's he has like eleven children. But repopulate with his own kids? No, but I'm saying like that's called incest. No, I meant re like repopulate the world, comma with his own kids. Yeah, like doing good for the society. Yes, not like so have, have a bunch of babies. Yes. Well, he's a f richest man in the world. Yeah, I yeah. hope he has a bunch of babies. Okay, Michelle Obama. <laughs> Pass, dude. Why? I don't know. It's not my speed. Yo, have you seen the conspiracy? Yes, dude. Yes, that it's a dude. And then, That's so, what you and saw, then, yes. right? And then someone was like, Google search um, Michelle Obama pregnant. There's no pictures to be found. No way. This is some Zerka <laughs> shit. No way. You swear to God. Search it so then how'd they get those kids? <laughs> no. Are you fucking? <laughs> nah, stop it. Stop it. I love Michelle Obama regardless. I'm just saying it might be Mitch Obama. Nah, Mitchell, bro. <laughs> Mitchell Obama. No, there's no way that's real. You're fucking up right now. <laughs> Really? Hold on. Oh, I gotta Google that. This is like the this is like the finding satellites and they're all fake. Dude, are you a flat earther? I'm looking for this for real. Nah, bro, they got one right here. Let me see. Oh, they said fake. That's what I'm saying. If it's that hard to find it, stop it. Nah, bro. I don't know, man. Nah. Are you a flat earther? Some days I am, some days I'm not. What does that mean? A flat earther? You yeah. believe the world is flat. So some days you think it's flat, some days you think it's round? Some days Zerka can convince me it's flat. Dude, that dude is <laughs> fucking hilarious to me. He's so wild, though. Are you a flat earther? I'm not going to lie. He somewhat convinced me for That's a second. That's what I'm saying. Because he was showing me shit, and I was like, what the fuck? This is weird. But then, like, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Like, what's the pro what's the point of all that shit? Like, what would be the point for the world to not be fucking round, you know? <laughs> what would be the point? Get it? Point. No. What is that? What are you doing? Like, the, I don't know what else. What's the point? What, 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 what was the point thing about? Never mind. Who's what your was, celebrity crush? No, I no. now we can't just, well, I, what are you talking? What's the point thing about? Like, I'm point, so confused like, it's like now. when two lines, like, if it's flat, you know, the point is when two lines, like, intersect is the point. If it's flat, like, a piece of paper, like, it has a point. I don't know what I oh, was getting at. Oh, you did at. some geometry banter. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's some high level Thank shit. You. That's, that's I how I know you're a college graduate. Thank you. That's why I didn't want to bring it Whoa, up. Oh, that just was like, like big brain shit. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. You're a fucking Sorry. nerd. Wait, um, don't get me. You're a nerd. I mean, he's um, a nerd. Who's I your love celebrity crush? I don't have one. I n I've never had a celebrity. Okay, I had. Okay, this is a true story. Okay. Fuck, should I tell this story, man? Tell the story. This podcast is getting boring. Ah, this story, though. Okay. When I was 16 years old, Jacob, you know the story? Okay. You I haven't had even started the damn story and you expect him to know it? When I was 16 years old, Jacob, you know the story? Jacob's a fucking smart guy. He's, he okay. would know if I talked about it before. Okay. okay. I was 16 years old and I had a, actually I might have been 15 or four. It was back when everyone used like fucking dial up and shit. You don't know nothing about that. Dial up. You don't know nothing about that. And I had a, I had a. A gateway desktop computer. That's like a big ass, the big ass monitors like this big to have a screen. The screen was like this big. We get it. It's thick. The computer was like this big. Oh my god. They made shit big back then. Nowadays everything's like small, nano and shit. Like you. Not exactly, but um, anyways, so I'm on this this desktop computer and I made my screensaver. This girl. Swear this is a true ass story. Okay. I'm either 14, 15, something Who like that. Who was the girl? Vita Guerra. Okay. It's a true story. You've always been into... Is she Hispanic? She's Hispanic. You're, you've always been in Hispanic girls. Anyways. Okay. She was one of the first models that like on FHM, like 
brought like the butt back, like made the butt popular. Because before it was like skinny girls with boobs. Mm-hmm. So I had this picture of her and it was my desktop screensaver. This is a true ass story. Okay. Okay. Fast forward fucking 10 years. Yeah, 10, 10 a little more than 10 years. Uh, in my early 20s. I actually dated this chick. The same girl that you had as your wallpaper? Dated her. How? So she had done modeling for a long time. And at the end of her career, she started doing like fitness competitions. Mm -hmm. So I ran into her at a fitness competition. I swear to you, I swear to you, Culver City. And I was like, and I was competing at the time. So I was like in shape and shit. And I saw her and I was like, they're like, they, they said her name. And I was just in the crowd, like doing whatever bullshit, like, excuse me. Like they would always have tables set up on the side and like, right, right. And I saw, I hear her name and I'm like, what the fuck? There's no way. And I look over. And it was her? And it was her. Oh my God. The chick that I had a crush on. When I was like right. 14, 15, 16. And then a decade later, you dated her. Yeah, for like a year and Why a half. Why did it end? Um, she was, she was, she's a lot older than I am. Um, and it's just two different parts. I'm of surprised. Life. Hmm. You went for an older woman? I feel like you like them um, young. Whoa, was that like a Steve will do a jab? That's crazy. It was about it's to be, and then I, I saved myself. Jesus Christ. Younger um, than you is what I meant. No, yeah, no. I, I, ironically, I guess unironically, I dated older women my whole like life growing up. Mm. So um, now you're trying to see what the younger women are all about. <laughs> Dude, you're so annoying. It's hilarious. It's a. But no, no, no. I yeah. This is a true story. So like, I really had this like girl as a screensaver. I remember this back when like you people had like desktop screensavers. Yeah. Like, like, old shit. And then uh, I dated her for about a year and a half. That's then, actually crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She was actually the first person that got me into like hippie shit. Yeah. You've been into hip. I feel like you always have had that little side of you. Yeah. The hippie side. The hippie shit, man. That like spiritual. Yeah. You know, the moon and shit. You know, like the moon is here. So like, you know, like sun rising and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know enough about it. I just know that's a thing. Yeah. Right. Horoscopes and shit. Right. Signs. What's your zodiac sign? I guess I'm a Taurus Gemini. Ooh. Like in the cusp. What you know? girl told you that? Oh. Say I'm on the cusp. That's oh, you're on thing. the cusp. I'm special. I hate Taurus men. Well, that's crazy. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Imagine you just suited <laughs> it now. <laughs> guess what? I'm both. No, I, I, do you know your sign? I'm a Pisces. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I don't know but but you know it's so funny when people like talk about stuff like that, they're always like, "Yeah, it makes so much sense." Yeah, I'm like, like "No, oh, you're a Pisces." I uh, knew it. I knew it. Yeah, you're you give me Pisces vibes. Yeah, you're yeah. as if everyone knows. Like, who the fuck actually knows about that stuff? No, they're all just so broad that anyone can fit into any of the categories. You read it, and you're like, "That's fucking like, me." There's some things that are applicable to everyone, regardless, and some things that aren't. Like, it's just it's. Dog yeah, shit. but yeah, anyways, that's a true ass story. I had, literally had this girl on my screensaver. So that's then, your celebrity crush? No, that the, the reason why I said that is because, no. Oh, it, she it, was when you were 14. Exactly. Got it. She was like whatever I would have considered a celebrity at the time. But the point is like now, like I don't, I don't have that at all. Yeah, like, I, I feel like I don't have that either. I don't give a fuck. I'm not looking for nothing like that. Well, I'm, no. Hold on, Steve's calling. We can bring up, yeah, hold on. Steve who? Mr. Will, yo, I'm on. A, I'm on. We're on the podcast. What's up? You're kind of live, but we can cut it. Yo, I canceled. I canceled. Canceled Japan. What? What the fuck are you talking Wait, about? Wait, tell him I said hi. What? Oh my god, you're not funny, dude. That's not funny. I gotta make sure I get all my fucking money back. What's good? What's good? Sarah's here. Hi, Steve. Hey, Sarah. Hi. How much do you think about me, Sarah? I think about you a lot, Steve. I like your haircut. Not in like a weird way. No, I think about you pretty frequently. <laughs> yeah, like he just like it's. I like how everyone tries to riz Sarah up. It's so funny. Why well, do it? Mine's like natural. I'm yeah, like... Steve's like no pervy riz. So who has pervy riz? No, I mean like it's just like real, like it's real. Not, you know. <laughs> no, I know. I'm I know. To make you jealous. What? I'm just trying to make you jealous. No, I don't think work. you can make Brad jealous. You can't make you jealous, man. So what's good? What's good? No, I'm just I'm I'm about to do my pod um, right now. Okay. 
And then I was going to just confirm that you're down to play Overwatch all night. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Aw, that's, that's so cute. That's not like a real homie. Yeah. And he called me to also troll me. No, we're going to play Overwatch, and then we'll, I'll stay up, and then I'll sleep on the plane or some shit. Right, you like that? It's like, play to like 4 a.m. Yeah, right? we'll stream. I'm stream, streaming until fucking 4 a.m. I'm down. Okay, fuck yeah. Okay. Well, have, enjoy your podcast. All right, bro. Uh, good seeing you, Sarah. Bye, Steve. Love you. Love you, Sarah. Okay. All right, bye. Dude, I love Steve. Good guy, Dude, he's man. so nice. I hope he gets back on YouTube, man. He got back on YouTube. I hope he does. I think he's genuinely a good person. No, he, he actually I, is, for sure. Like, he, out of everyone that I've met that you've introduced me to, I think he's my favorite. That's why he's my best friend. Yeah. What Especially were we in this about industry. Before you called? You dropped your Zins. Oh, I don't have those. These are Lucy. Anyways, celebrity crush. I can't think of someone. Yeah, I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't think about any of that kind of shit. But yeah, no, Leonardo. Oh, he's too old for me. Yeah, well, you're also just right for him. Yeah, but I don't want someone that's that old. I want someone that's around my age, maybe a little older. Bradley, did you see Steiny and Neon talking about us? Yes, yes, I did. You saw that clip? Yes, I did. What's up with that? I have no idea. That was a Steve will do a joke. That yeah, neon, I know, but that Neon picked up the when fact we were that, in the, yeah. yeah, I know, I knew that Neon picked it up from Steve, but the fact that they ran with it made it seem like it was legit. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. I mean, it's, it's views, I'm trying to get views and clicks, makes sense. Yeah, stupid though. You should square up with Steiny for that the fight with Steiny because I can't fight him. It'd be like beating up a little kid. You could fight him though. It'd okay. Be a pretty decent fight. Steiny, I'm coming for you. You should spar Steiny. I'm down. No. He, he, Dude, Steiny's on his redemption arc. Yeah, he might fucking He'd smack beat the shit you. out of me. He fucking smoke you. He's with also a fucking right he's up. having a good. Did you see how? Yes, I loved it. I loved it too. Jake Paul. Yeah, yeah. I loved Steiny for that. I texted him. I was like, Steiny, good shit. That's funny because I texted him too. Really? Swear to God, but we are the same person. What the fuck? Actually, did you do that for real? Yeah, I texted him. You're such a weirdo. I said you're all over my TikTok. Good shit. Which part? Right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me confirm if it's the same thing. Look, I actually texted him. Yeah. It's October. This part? Yep. Yeah. Because Jake was like, what, what did he say exactly? Jake was trying to press him on the fighting thing. Well, not the fighting thing. It was just a clip where Jake was talking about, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Hey, look, hold on. This is the, I text him about this. I think, Steiny, you think you're bigger than you are. What do you mean? Like, you think you're like a big, like, celebrity. Uh, not at all, bro. But, like, kind of. And that that's, and I mean, not, you just, not in, like, a no offense, way. you just preached all this shit about how, like, you be yeah, so yep. I find it interesting that just that sort of comment because like, bro, that's literally what all these people on social media, me included, you included everyone, right? That's how everyone starts out, like trying to be bigger than they are, right? Yeah. I think he, Jake just tried to go like the whole Andrew Schultz, let me shit on Stein and get some clicks and some views, Yeah, which obviously it worked. It's working. We're talking about it. I know that it got a lot of views. But it's like, but it didn't go views in the way of in favor of Jake. Well, for Jake to say that is interesting because it's like, bro, you did the same thing. Like that's what your your thing was. Like, yeah, you've gotten to the point now where you're actually fucking huge. decent at boxing. Yeah. You're huge. You do all this dope shit. You got this promotional company. You're super successful, right? But to shit on Stein and be like, yo, I think you're you think you're a bigger celebrity than you are. Like that's how like Jake also built his career by doing yeah. shit. Like, and Steiny is pretty big. Yeah, I people mean, know him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not under my. It's. It's not even about how big someone is or isn't. No, no. It's about the message behind. Yeah, it's the just funny to hear yeah, someone yeah. say like, "Yo, you're. You think you're that big, but you're not." And like, that's why. Blah blah. blah. It's like, bro. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not yeah. like Jake was some fuck. Actually, wait. Who's a Disney actor? He was. Yeah, he, no, was he wasn't. He was a Disney kid. Really? And then he started social media. I did not know that. So it was Josh Peck. Ugh, I loved. Yeah. Oh, that was probably too. But I'm saying like, it wasn't like Jake was like. Fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, who was like, I'm gonna start boxing and doing YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, a big celebrity. Like, you build your celebrity in the thing, which is like, yeah. how are we dissing Steiny? And so he stood up for himself, and I thought it was dope. I thought it was dope too. And I was actually like, yo, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Just don't continue to be a rat to me. Right. Sometimes he's kind of a rat to me. He is. Sometimes. Yeah. But then, but then, like, not. Sometimes I feel it. You get me? I get you. Yeah. I get you. Trust but then, me. but then he's not. Hold on, let's get another question. Well, so he I said, "I want to be all this shit." Now you're kind of switching up, but go ahead. And I talk three years ahead and have this big mouth, and so that's what they're holding. 
me too, that yeah. standard, but that's good. How do I think I'm bigger that's than that? Like, he said it in the same yeah. podcast. Like, it's just interesting. People are interesting. But I get it. People just talk, talk to talk. I think that's what we're doing. <laughs> talk to talk, yeah. yeah. Like these two idiots just said, let's start a podcast. No, honestly, doing a podcast with you is so funny. And I told you this the other day because when I originally started Raw Talk, I wanted it to be a male female dynamic and in interviewing guests. Oh, yeah. And I remember I lurked on you when I first started working for you. I was, oh my God, I did my research. About the podcast, interesting, me and you. When I first started, not just this podcast, when I first started Raw Talk, originally it was going to be a male female dynamic. And then, like, just talking ideally about topics and about things that were going on and like reacting yeah. to things, kind of like what we're doing with like guests every once in a while. And then it just became like, okay, I'm just going to interview guests um, because I also really like that format and style. But yeah. having the female perspective is just so valuable. So that's why you like it. You like having the female perspective. And you don't have to rely on guests. Yeah. Because that's something that just gets very like trying to schedule people, especially like these people who are popular and shit. Yeah. It just becomes like, it's fucking, hard. It's, it's a job. Hard, yeah. Who do you think we should have next on our, you know, <clears throat> in the future? Who should our next guest be? Um, well, it sounds like got Kevin Gates interested. <laughs> I was going to have him on Raw Talk. No, I asked him here. for Raw Talk. Fuck. No, no, no. I asked him for Raw Talk. Yeah. No, that's Either way, all I don't give a fuck. No, I'm not trying to, like, snake your guests. I don't care. You don't want to have him here? Your Instagram's been growing a lot recently. It has? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't posted anything. I know. It's weird. It p- pisses me off. Damn. You got 4.5. Yeah, I should start posting. Yeah, I've been telling you this for months. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I have a plan. No, I, I have care probably, about your plan. You, you no, I swear. Look, I swear. Jacob knows too. Jacob, he's going to be so you, mad at me. You talk, but it's all just talk. You never, have, you never okay, perform. Okay, I swear. I promise. I'm going to start posting on Instagram. I have like five really good photos. I swear. And then I'm going to get a bunch of content in, in Japan. Just doing like just. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Just like, like samurai shit. We're going to go to a forest. We're going to go to a forest. Isn't that the controversy of what? No, we're gonna the, see the Paul forest. Brother, Logan? No, we're gonna see forests in Japan. Like there's scenic stuff. But isn't that where he got caught up? With no, the... he that was a that's a different thing. Oh, is that not in Japan? It is in Japan, but it's like a specific forest. We're not going to that forest. We're going to forest. We're gonna see like the scenery. They got like waterfalls and shit. They got lakes. Bradley Martin is about to get canceled. Dude. <sighs> Yo. I just, honestly, I'm just inspired by Logan Paul. Oh, that's crazy. Why is that crazy? He did cool shit. He fucking super, you saw his his fucking vengeance arc, comeback arc. All right, do you have a question or something? What's no, I think that's about it, guys. Um, let us know if we should have another guest and who that guest should be. Um, I love you guys. And Tell them to go to the Discord. Yo, go to the Discord, discord.gg GG slash raw gear. gear. Yeah. And then go to mommy and daddy on the left side and, yeah. and ask leave, some questions. Please. Leave some questions. Please, guys. Um, But... Yeah, check out Raw Gear, Code Sarah, obviously. Yeah. And we will see you guys. Next week when I'm back from, uh, what the fuck? I wasn't doing, what the fuck oh, are you doing? Oh, oh. You, you want to play weirdo. No, I was going to stretch my leg out. No, um, I'll see you next week. I'll report back from Tokyo. Yeah. Ooh, We're going to yeah. see Godzilla. Can you do some cool things so we have stuff to yes. talk about? We're going to see Godzilla. And I think King Kong's also there. And then we're going to dress up as babies. And Steve's going to breastfeed. Dead serious. That's part of his plan. All right, guys. Catch you guys next week. Oh, Love no, you. Say it. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. If you Yo, don't know we need, us. Oh, we're gonna make a IG soon. I gotta do that. I'm gonna Yo, do that. guys, by the way, clippers, clip this up. Put it everywhere. Yeah. If yes. We said anything engaging, clip that, post it, tag us, and come on. And you can also get some money too. TikTok pays for videos longer than a minute. So clip this, put it everywhere. Love yeah, you. Yeah, like no bullshit. There's there's actually a dude like who was pulling like fucking 30k a month yeah i know it's ridiculous yeah start clipping because shout out bm club on uh tiktok that guy crushes bro. he crushes when i'm in him el ego el ego sarah bye guys Safari. love you we love you guys we're out of here see you <laughs>